tall, pointy ears or long, droopy ears? Tiny, fluffy bodies or large, regal bodies? Many varying characteristics go into what makes certain dog breeds the best-looking dogs. All dog puppies are cute, but we took some of the most popular choices out there to develop this list of the 10 dog breeds that have the cutest puppies. Number 10, Chow Chow. Ever wanted a baby lion only to have your landlord say no? A Chow Chow puppy might just be the answer. Strikingly beautiful and found in various colors, the Chow hails from China and may be one of the oldest breeds around, potentially originating as far back as 3,000 years ago. Nicknamed the Song Shiquan, which translates to puffy lion dog, a newborn Chow is an infinitely huggable furball, but also has its share of quirks. Number nine, French Bulldog. Cuter, smaller, and less grumpy looking than their English cousins, the French Bulldog is not a pup to be ignored. Actually, a dog of English heritage, the Boule Dog Francais, began as a toy-sized variant of the English Bulldog and gained its name when it found an easily earned popularity across the channel. Known for its stocky build, bat-like ears, and droopy upper lip, the Frenchie is a playful, laid-back, and loving little creature. They come in an array of colors, including brindle, white, fawn, and black. Given their size, they are great dogs for apartment dwellers. Number eight, German Shepherd. Strikingly handsome, confident, and composed as an adult, the German Shepherd dog, as it's officially known, is downright adorable as a pup. While it's tough to imagine these little furballs growing up to be canine law enforcement agents, the image of one in a police hat is pretty cute. Roughly 15,000 registered purebred German Shepherds are born each year in Germany alone. Around the world, they can be found in a range of colors, including mixes of black, tan, white, red, blue, gray, or even a panda pattern. As a bonus, German Shepherd dogs are hyper-intelligent and have the potential to learn most tricks within the first five tries. Number seven, Newfoundland. Much like the friendly, good-natured people of their namesake province, these dogs are known to be hardworking, people-loving, and a bit messy when drinking. The pups are bigger eaters than their Labrador cousins, but adult Newfoundland dogs actually eat less than full-grown labs. In addition to the Labrador, this dog is also thought to share ancestry with the ancient Viking bear dog, or even the Tibetan Mastiff. But based on their cuteness as babies, we equally suspect a relationship to Teddy Ruxpin or Winnie the Pooh. Number six, Pomeranian. Also called the Zwerkspitz or the Lulu, and looking like a cloud crossed with a cotton ball with a little Ewok thrown in, the Pomeranian is a keen learner and loyal to the core. Although known for their tiny size and thus their huge cuteness, the Pomeranian is descended from much larger ancestors, Spitz dogs, which weigh closer to 30 pounds. Sometimes these old genes resurface, resulting in a throwback Pomeranian, a pom-pom substantially larger than their three to seven pound average. Yes, that's the adult weight range. At eight weeks, a healthy Pomeranian puppy can weigh as little as one pound. Number five, Dachshund. Oftentimes, strange can be cute, and with their absurdly long bodies and stubby legs, these little hounds are adorably odd, particularly as puppies. Also known as a doxy, or more casually, the wiener dog, Dachshunds can be found in all sorts of colors, with black and tan being the most common. They also come in smooth or short, wire and long hair coats, meaning there's a variety out there to suit most tastes. Although a little difficult to housebreak and potentially annoyingly barky, Doxies are hopelessly devoted to their families and play well with older children. In all honesty though, the moment this little bundle of joy comes into your life, you won't wanna share it with your kids anyway. Number four, Welsh Corgi. Cuteness could and should be measured in units of Corgi puppies because, well, just look at them. 
Welsh for dwarf dog, corgis come in two equally adorable variations, the Pembroke and the Cardigan. While the slightly larger and more colorful Cardigan is not without its fans, it's the Pembroke that tends to win the popular vote. The Pembroke has been a favorite of Queen Elizabeth II since she received a corgi named Susan for her 18th birthday. In addition to being cute as a button from birth right through their golden years, the breed is the subject of rather endearing folklore. According to legend, corgis were the traditional steeds of woodland fairies and were eventually introduced to humans as a gift. Number three, Husky. With its wolfish good looks, a full-grown husky always has a certain air of distinction. In puppy form, however, the husky resembles Gizmo's first batch crossed with the cartoon. The breed's familiar wolf-like facial colorings, when miniaturized, give the pups a look of almost evil determination, which, combined with their hapless size, makes them absolutely precious. Although hard to housebreak, huskies make up for it with a natural playfulness a trait they often carry from puppyhood to maturity. Quite frankly, they can be crazy energetic, so one shouldn't be surprised to see a husky puppy bouncing here, there, and everywhere in search of adventure and mischievous fun. Number two, Bernese Mountain Dog. A modern descendant of the Roman Molosser Dog, the Berner Sennenhund, as it's known in German, is a complex breed. Despite their eventual massive size, these Swiss pups can be rather sensitive, prone to separation anxiety, and even intimidated by beards. Can you say heartbreakingly shy? At the same time, they're equally known to love people, especially kids, and to be a true friend until the end. Be warned, while they start out small, they grow fast, so cherish it while it lasts. Thankfully, if properly trained and socialized as a pup, the Bernese Mountain Dog never seems to become aware of its age, keeping a puppy-like attitude towards life for way longer than many other breeds. Number one, Golden Retriever. Ah, the Golden Retriever, but which one? There are actually three main categories, British, American, and Canadian, and each one will melt your heart. Coming in shades from cream to gold and even some reddish hues, a golden retriever is a friend for the whole family, not just the person that feeds it. Third in popularity in the U.S., at least one golden has found a home in the White House, President Ford's appropriately named pet, Liberty. And why not? With their gooey good looks and smarts to match, a retriever can make any house a home. Lovable, trainable, and oh so soft. A golden retriever puppy could melt a heart of stone. So do you agree with our list? Who's your favorite dog breed? Let us know in the comments. For more fun-loving videos published daily, be sure to subscribe to Viral Bee. Here are some other cool videos I know you'll enjoy. See you soon.